talking about that. Not mm-hmm. saying it's in my top five. Mm-hmm. And Cynthia G. Yeah, that would be that would be interesting, yo. That I I don't I I highly doubt she would do it. I know. But, but like, I mean, yeah. well, I, you know what? I don't put nothing past anybody. Yeah, like I <laughs> I don't even. She's not even an anomaly. Like at this point, like I think that like it's pretty well known. Like mm-hmm. what? Like this is this is. It, first of all, she's sick. Mm-hmm. The trauma mm-hmm. is palpable, right? Mm-hmm. You 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 you. We understand that, but I think that because like she's dealt with personal or family trauma, you know, and I I think that she's somehow in her mind rationalized and justified that what she's doing is okay. You know, so there are a lot of them that feel like, Hey, what's it's good for the goose is good for the gander. If these men in the so-called manosphere are going mm-hmm. to like bomb on black women, then shit, I'm going to bomb on black men and make money off of it. So for them, like, they 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 have no bones about the fact that they're in a war. Yeah. You know? So when you're in a war, like you're not trying to like it's not the, the, she's not trying to have conversations for truth, for healing, for reconciliation. Her no. goal is to hurt the other side. She wants to hurt the enemy, and so-called black men are her enemies. So that's who she wants to hurt. But this is what we talked about mm-hmm. earlier: the threats and what she's using so when i again having these conversations with o'shea and i asked about her um and she was in the space and she was pro-black and i didn't know that she had um dealings already with dr umar and with uh tariq nasheed mm-hmm. so she's already had conversations with these men years ago and she was pro-black pro-family pro this and white anti-white supremacy all this and then she changed. And then when I asked him why, um, he said, you know, maybe it was for a, um, a money thing and what she was getting and the results of her page or what she was doing wasn't. But then there's it more lucrative to do that. I don't believe it. Yeah. I believe it's different. I think it's I think it's deeper. I think she needs healing. I think the woman has problems. Yeah. Clearly. Um, but it's a reason why something clicked in her head. And I'm really, really interested in knowing the why. Like yeah. we can talk about her and her, what she says about, you know, deletions of black boys, but she's saying it because of black men saying that the Pookies and Ray Rays are because of single mothers. Mm-hmm. So her resolve, is well if you're so tired you keep talking about the pookie and ray rays is messing up the community then if we delete them then that's the resolve so now you can't blame it on the single black woman yeah yeah i get it i get it like i said it's it's silliness you know, it's silliness when, but when that's... lock themselves in these wars with one another is like that's why i always say it's dangerous to trap yourself in a dialectic with like with, with ignorance because then it becomes like you know, you don't want to validate what the other side is saying, even even in cases where, like, I always say, like, you know, a broken clock is right at least twice a day. Mm-hmm. But my analysis and my position is independent, you know, of what they got going on over here, because I'm not I'm not locked in an argument with children. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And I think that, for, like, within a lot of these discussions, that's ultimately what we hear. We hear hurt children that have just grown in age you mm-hmm. you, you hear you know 40 and 45 and you know 35 year old speaking mm-hmm. but if you listen closely that 12 year old child is, comes, is really the voice that's coming through yeah that's what you're really hearing the pain of that 12 year old child that wasn't listened to mm-hmm. the, the pain the pain of that of that eight year old that was abandoned mm-hmm. right the, the the that child that was abused emotionally physically sexually Mm -hmm. Right. That's what you're hearing, even though it's coming through the body and the mouth of a 38 year old, you know, woman or man, the voice is still that of that hurt child. And that's what's that that has our conversations in a headlock. It does. And that's why we're not growing. Mm -hmm. And and this is the reason why, again, where I had to uh, do that Heisman on some of these people and go on my separate ways because it's affecting me. And even going back, I'm not giving any kind of necessarily grace to, to Cynthia G, but a part of me kind of understands 
Because when a woman gets in this space with rosy eyes of wanting love and black love, and then you're constantly berated and told that black women aren't good enough and your time is passed and we're gone, you know, with someone that might be already mentally ill, and then they could take them overboard because we don't know these people in this space. We talk to hundreds, thousands, millions of people around the world. We don't know where they're mentally at. Yeah. And some of these people with platforms, you don't know again where they're mentally at and they do it for applause. They do it for validation. And if they're not getting validated by what they think, then they will flip in and get validation from they might not even believe it, but somehow they turn themselves into believing the thing. So, um, again, not to, you know, give her grace or anything, or I would like to understand more because I think she's a an interesting case study for women in the manosphere space and yeah. what could happen if you're not solid, if you don't have a spiritual background and if you don't truly believe what you believe. And also if you don't take a break. Like sometimes you just got to log off. You right? have to log off. You have to That's space crazy. Go into the real world. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Yeah, go into the real world. Like take a break, do some work on yourself. You know, yes. I, do, I do it all the time. Like I I'm, and have other conversation. I'm so glad football is back. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad. So now I can talk about my Titans and how we going to try to do the playoffs again this year. So you have to <laughs> you have to you got to turn the computer off, turn things off and get out of this space because I mean, keep putting yourself in an echo chamber of people that don't think you're valuable and you're the person that they're aiming that to. Um it takes a huge toll. All for right. sure. Well, Miss Courtney Michelle I appreciate, you know, having you back. This was this was a light discussion. I just been, you know, I reached out just because I've been seeing the transition, the transformation. I love the the body image situation that you're, you know, the direction you're going in with the Patreon mm -hmm. and trying to shift the the trajectory of, of your content. Like so you all you already know I'm I'm one of your biggest supporters on here. So I is there like anything you. that you want to say in closing before we tap out? Um, well, it's always good dialoguing with you. So I appreciate this and even reconnecting with you. For sure. So um, for sure, I've never not supported you and you will always have my support. So I want you to know that because um, I think you are important. And, you know, I'm like the little engine that could. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And um, the one thing about me for sure is that I am resilient. And with every punch, I'm going to get my ass back up. And I'm not going to keep on ticking. Mm -hmm. So this is me. Chuck, 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 chuck. I was a little into that could. And, you know, I want to, I'm here to be respected mm -hmm. as a content creator. Um, and I just kind of want to put my own footprint in not only this content creation but in this world so i'm gonna try keep going miss cord i appreciate you i appreciate right. you listen y'all if y'all just pulling up do me a favor yo check this out run my uncle moel his like y'all make sure y'all smack that like button on your way in and on your way out make sure y'all go subscribe to miss i am courtney michelle and we out peace bye Going off topic. Off topic. You really off topic right now. Yo, you way off topic. How is it that everybody's over here and you way over there off topic?